Could Ronaldo Nazario be considered better than Lionel Messi in terms of pure ability? He had the magic, the talent, and the dribbling skills to get past an entire football team. He won the World Cup and numerous trophies with elite European clubs, so why is he so often overlooked in the conversation of football goats? Well, we wouldn't be having this debate had he stayed injury-free and dazzled us with his goal-scoring prowess more consistently. In this deep dive, we're going to explore the unfortunate journey of 10 footballing icons whose careers were unfortunately ruined by injuries. Santi Cazorla belonged to the new generation of Spanish midfielders who used their flair, close control and passing ability to orchestrate the entire football field from the middle. Rising in ranks with the likes of Xavi, Iniesta and Silva, Santi Cazorla played an important role in Spain's UEFA Euro 2008 trial. And when he joined Arsenal in 2012, he quickly became a fan favourite through his magical touch and precise passing. With a man of the match performance on his Arsenal debut and countless dazzling displays, he was certainly one of the most most creative midfielders the Premier League had ever seen. However, a harrowing Achilles injury followed by a severe infection left him sidelined for almost two years, casting doubts on whether he would ever play again. But through a grueling regimen of surgeries, rehabilitation and unwavering determination, Cazorla defied the odds. In July 2018, he returned to the pitch after more than 600 days to go on and play for Villarreal. Now 39, he plays in the second division in Spain for Real of Oviedo. The English footballer with a world-class defensive talent was known as a one-club man with Tottenham Hotspur. From the start of his career, King showcased extraordinary potential as a central defender, earning international recognition for his contributions on the pitch. His inclusion on the Times list of Tottenham's greatest players tells us about his significance within the club's legacy. Representing England on the international stage further cemented his status as a formidable presence in the footballing world. However, as King's career progressed, his journey was plagued by knee problems that threatened to derail his entire career. Despite his determination, no effective remedy could cure the persistent pain and limitations imposed by his injuries. At just 31 years of age, he had to bid farewell to professional football, leaving behind a legacy with unfulfilled potential and what-ifs. In the years following his retirement, King began his career in coaching and ambassadorial roles with Tottenham Hotspur. Once considered Germany's brightest talent and destined to be one of the greats of the game, Deisler's promising career was defined by injuries, as a ruptured anterior cruciate ligament and a torn synovial membrane kept him from playing football for most of his playing career. Despite the injuries, he made a resurgence between 2004 to 2006, making consistent appearances for Bayern Munich. However, when his hopes to play for his country in a World Cup were once again shattered by another knee injury, he lost all morale to continue with the game and even battled depression. This led to his early retirement and ultimately the end of a tragic career. For a boy who was considered the next big thing in football, he ended his career with just 28 goals in 231 appearances. <laughs> The Dutchman started his career at the age of 10 at the famed Ajax Academy, where he also made his professional debut in the year 2000. Van der Vaart earned 109 caps for the Netherlands, scoring 25 times and starred in the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, taking the captain's armband in the final against Spain after Giovanni van Bronckhorst was substituted. But after playing for the likes of Hamburg, Real Madrid, Spurs and Real Betis, he chose to retire early, having spent many campaigns recovering from injuries and regaining match fitness. He eventually moved to Denmark as he wanted to be closer to his current Dutch girlfriend Estevana Polman, who was a professional handball player. While he remained closer to his girlfriend, he chose to try his career in coaching. He also began a professional darts career in 2019 and made his debut at the Denmark Open. Pato was once hailed as the future of the Brazil attack, as he was regarded as the spearhead of their 2014 World Cup challenge. When Pato arrived at Milan from Sao Paulo, he burst onto the scene with a number of electric performances that made his potential for all clear to see. There was even talk of him potentially becoming the best player in the world, but the general feeling was that the Brazilian never quite reached his potential, having suffered badly with injury problems. Some of the coaches at Milan went so far as to say his situation could be likened 
second to that of Ronaldo. His joints and his knees were also unable to support his great explosiveness. Alexandra Pato is another example of a player whose great career was stopped short due to his injuries. He was most recently playing football for his Brazilian club Sao Paulo, but has been without a club since the 1st of January 2024. German fans expected Deisler to bring the World Cup home, but Mario Goetze was the one who answered fans' wishes and scored that winning goal in the 2014 World Cup final. He was an up-and-coming superstar of world football and helped Borussia Dortmund win back-to-back -back Bundesliga titles. He was regarded as one of the best talents Germany had ever produced at the time. Bayern Munich then triggered Goetze's release clause with the hopes of seeing him dazzle for the Bavarians. He was destined to discover his prime under the management of Guardiola, but a metabolic disorder and subsequent injuries hindered his progress, leading to a decline in form and opportunities at the highest level. He had returned to Borussia Dortmund before moving to PSV Eindhoven in 2020. Currently, he is back playing football in his country at Eintracht Frankfurt. Another Dortmund player, Marco Reus, suffered an even worse fate as he continually kept missing all the crucial moments for Germany, missing the 2014 FIFA World Cup, the UEFA Euro 2016, and UEFA Euro 2020. Some fans even thought he was cursed. His electrifying pace and clinical finishing made him a force to be reckoned with at Borussia Dortmund. He could easily have been named in the starting 11 of the 2014 World Cup final that Germany won. Yet many injuries, including hamstring and ankle problems, disrupted his momentum and prevented him from realizing his full potential on the world stage. But he has stayed at Borussia Dortmund and plans to finish his career at the club that raised him to stardom. Hazard's rise to stardom began at Lille, where he showcased his immense talent as a dynamic winger, winning consecutive Ligue 1 Player of the Year awards and leading Lille to a league and cup success, highlighting his prodigious talent. In 2012, Hazard made a high-profile move to Chelsea, where he further solidified his status as one of the world's finest footballers. Hazard's exceptional performances earned him prestigious individual honours too, such as the PFA Players Player of the Year award and the FWA Footballer of the Year awards. Moreover, Hazard's dream move to Real Madrid in 2019 turned into a nightmare plagued by injuries and fitness issues. Persistent injuries, including multiple ankle fractures, derailed his momentum and hindered his ability to make a significant impact on the pitch. The Belgian winger's time at Real Madrid was characterized by frustration and disappointment. Despite his hefty price tag and immense potential, Hazard's spell in Spain failed to live up to expectations. On December the 7th, 2023, he announced his retirement from football at the age of 31. In the late 1990s, Owen was a golden boy of English football, a prodigious talent blessed with lightning speed and deadly accuracy in front of goal. Hitting his prime at Liverpool, he was scouted by Real Madrid and signed in 2004. He was one of the Galactico signings. His meteoric rise, though, was derailed by injuries, particularly to his hamstring and groin, requiring him to adapt his game and ultimately forcing him to retire from his international career prematurely. He ended his career by scoring 263 goals for both club and country in 572 appearances. Along with domestic trophies, he had won the Premier League Golden Boot in the 1997-98 and the 1998-99 seasons and also won a Ballon d'Or in 2001. Before we reveal the number one spot, here are some honourable mentions. Once hailed as a rising star during his time at Fiorentina, Jovetic's move to Manchester City was supposed to be his ticket to stardom. However, relentless injury setbacks plagued his time at the club, preventing him from realising his full potential. Fondly known as the Little Mozart, he was a fan favourite at Arsenal. He made 246 appearances, contributing to their 2014 FA Cup triumph. Despite his talent, his time at the club are highlighted by persistent injuries, preventing him from fully realising his potential during his 10-year stay at Arsenal. Thiago Alcantara's talent was such that he was the one transfer Pep asked for when he started managing Bayern Munich. Held as one of the most gifted playmakers of his generation, he is also very fragile. You may call his time at Munich a very successful one, but at Liverpool, he's had a horrible time dealing with injuries. 
Abu Dhabi was supposed to be the next big thing for Arsenal, possessing all the attributes of a top midfielder. However, his career was ruined by a series of injuries, preventing him from fulfilling his immense potential. He was the hottest property in football during his time at Liverpool, but Fernando Torres faced a significant setback during the 2009-10 season where he suffered a torn meniscus. The aftermath? He never fully recovered his explosiveness following a series of injuries prompting Liverpool to accept Chelsea's £50 million offer. Coutinho joined Barcelona from Liverpool in January 2018 for a club record fee, seen as the heir to Andres Iniesta's creative midfield role. He was the next big thing in Barcelona after Neymar, but he could never rediscover his form that made him the most exciting midfielder in his time at Liverpool. Plagued with injuries and inconsistent performances on the field, he never could fulfil his potential. Widely regarded as one of the greatest strikers of all time, Marco van Basten's career was cut short by persistent ankle injuries. Despite achieving tremendous success, including three Ballon d'Or titles, he retired at the age of 28. Adriano was destined for greatness and was the next big superstar from Brazil, however his personal tragedies coupled with recurring injuries completely ruined his career. We can easily argue that he did have a successful career as he scored goals for giant clubs like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Inter Milan, PSV Eindhoven and AC Milan. He went on to win the World Cup at the age of 17 in 1994. Although he didn't play any games for Brazil in that tournament, he went on to become the top scorer in the 2002 edition which Brazil inevitably won. He also won the Ballon d'Or in 1997 and in 2002. And despite all that glory, one still wonders the heights he could have reached if not for those relentless injuries. He could have been the greatest footballer to have ever played the game if not for a series of crippling leg injuries. But he was more than a footballer. He was an icon and a humanitarian. In football, he became the majority owner of the Spanish club Real Valladolid. He also invested $70 million in his boyhood club Cruzeiro and bought a controlling stake in December 2021. As fans, we want to see the best football players plying their trade, but injuries are an unfortunate reality of professional football, capable of derailing even the most promising careers. We can only wonder what if, but we shouldn't forget that the joy these players have brought us whenever they have shown their extraordinary skills on the pitch. Thanks for watching Sports Key to Football. We have weekly content about your favorite football stars and drama from around the sport across the world. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about the beautiful game. Thank you.